بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه I know the time is quite short and I believe the brother is going to show me the one minute sign and then it's over so I don't know if it's enough time to come back or not but I will take my time and I will not repeat I will not be less than the brothers here so I'll speak about the meaning of peace I'm kidding I'll speak about two issues and I'll try to be as brief as possible first of all Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh one of the greatest companions of the Prophet ﷺ. This is a field that most Muslims are ignorant in. They do not know the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. If we go to hell, God forbid, we know everybody in there. What's happening? Everybody. But if we go to paradise, we seem ignorant of those in paradise. We have little knowledge of them. Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, may Allah be pleased with him, lived five to six years in Islam only. But when he died, Allah's throne shook out of happiness and joy because he was coming to them. Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, may Allah be pleased with him, went to kill Mus'ab ibn Umayr, who was with his cousin, As'ad ibn Zurarah, may Allah be pleased with them, preaching Islam in Medina. He went to intimidate them, to make them stop. They said, listen, we'll give you a small presentation, no PowerPoints, only words, few verses of the Quran. If you like it, okay. If you don't, we'll leave. So he said, this is fair. And they gave him the presentation, 180 degrees. He immediately became Muslim. What should a person do? They told him, have a total bath, clean your clothes, pray two rak'ahs, you're a Muslim. What did he do? Did he sit back? No. Immediately he went back to his tribe, Bani Abdul Ashhal, from the tribe of Aus of Medina, and said, by Allah, I will not speak to any man, woman, or child until you all accept Islam. On the spot, every single one of them embraced Islam before it was sunset. Six years, this is what he produced to Islam. Now, let's look at ourselves. What did we produce to this religion? How many people accepted Islam because of us? Or should I say, how many people rejected Islam because of us? We, I'm not going to look at that side. We are weak. We have our shortcomings. We are sinful by nature. But... If I make a mistake, if I make a sin, no one would say, Asim did a mistake and he sinned. They would say, Muslim, Sheikh, sinned and made a mistake. And this cascades down to all of you. When you do a mistake, they accuse Islam. They don't accuse you. That is why you have to be aware that you're being scrutinized. They're putting you under the microscope. Whatever you do, whatever you say, is going to reflect back on Islam. If it reflected back on me, I'm okay with that. I'm a no one. But if it reflects on Islam, then you are undermining Islam. So do what you can to spread the word of Islam and do what you must do to protect not your reputation, but the reputation of this great religion of Islam.